Hey, and welcome back to Kyle and Maggie's Money Making Picks. This is season two for us. Um, for those of you who joined us in season one, thank you very much. Um, so, I went 17, 14, and one last, or two last year. Okay, and last year I went 17, 15, and one. So, by win percentage, I beat Maggie. Woohoo! But mine sounds better. Yeah. <laughs> and so, um, if you haven't seen us before, what we do is we don't discuss our picks beforehand, we do our own research, whatever that research is. And then we come on here and we give our picks. So if Maggie has one that's in the same game as me and I pick a different team than her, then it's, we just see who wins. Like, we don't discuss it. We, we can pick the same game. We just we don't know until we do the video. So if you want to go ahead, Maggie, and go ahead and start. All right. My first pick of the year, I'm going to go with the Patriots minus six. I didn't write who they were playing. The Texans. The Texans. <laughs> oh, no. I feel really good about it because Tom Brady is on the field. Mm -hmm. So I just feel, you know, they're at home. It's going to be, I think, I don't know. I'm not big on the Texans. So I just think Brady at home, they're going to win by a good amount. He'll want to be back on the field and will be excited to be out there. So I think it'll be a big, and big so difference. So you got uh, Patriots minus six. So. Yes. Okay. My first one, I'm going to go with Denver minus three against Seattle. I know that sounds odd because everybody knows that Seattle is a good team, but this is not your your normal Seattle team. It's Russell Wilson, and then that's basically it. Doug Baldwin's the only other playmaker they have. Earl Thomas, yes, he got signed this week, but he might not play because he's only been there for, what, four days? So he might not play this week. And then uh, Denver's actually got a competent quarterback this year. It's Case Keenum. He might be just average, but that's better than what they've had in the past. Mm -hmm. And so... Denver's at 7-1-1 one, and one in their last nine September games, so they're good in September against the spread. And then they're also 4-1-1 and one, four, one and one in their last six Week 1 games. So they have a winning record in Week 1, and they have a winning record in September over the last couple of seasons. So I like them there. And then Seattle is actually only 1-5 in their last six September games. And also they're only 2-5 and five in their last... Again, these are all against the spread in their last... Uh, seven week one games. So they're not hot starters at the beginning mm -hmm. against the spread while Denver is, and I think Denver's the better team anyways. Okay. So. I didn't know all that about their September stats. Yeah. So good to know. <laughs> it, I had to find it through research. I certainly didn't have it on top of my head. So, All right. Do you want to do your next one or do you want me to go? You got it. You go. Okay. I'm going with the Packers minus oh, okay. seven at home against the Bears. Okay. I'm not buying in on the hype with the Bears. I get that they have, what's his name, the good defender, Clearly but like, I just don't think that that's going to be enough of a game changer for them. And I think, similar to Tom Brady having Aaron Rodgers at home, he's going to be excited. I just feel like they're going to want to win by a large margin. And then, of course, at home on primetime, Rodgers is ridiculous. Yeah. So hopefully it continues that way. I love that pick, obviously. Uh -huh. so. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited yeah. to watch that game. Okay, and so my last, or my, my second pick, our last pick, I actually have the Chargers minus three against Kansas City. That's another year and another time Kyle's picking the Chargers. It happens <laughs> all the time. And yes, I know I'm picking a team that is now 0-9 against Kansas City straight up in their last nine games. But that's a different Kansas City team. This team now has a rookie quarterback, mm -hmm. and they have an awful defense. And Eric Berry, their best defender, might not play. He's doubtful right now. But yes, the Chargers also don't have their best defender, but they actually have a good defense. Mm -hmm. Kansas City doesn't, and they don't have their best player on defense. So I think the Chargers will be fine to score a bunch of points. They don't have any corners that can guard Keenan Allen, and I just think that the how I like Mahomes, I, I kind of, mm -hmm. on my blog I've been posting up about him all year, but I think he's a rookie, he's going to have his growing pains, and I think he could possibly see a couple interceptions he's trying to force things in his first, well, his second start ever. So I do think that there will be plenty of chances to turn the ball over. And then Kansas City is only 1-4 against the spread in their last five Week 1 games, hmm. while uh, in the last six years, uh, the Chargers haven't lost against the spread in Week 1. So they've lost four of those six games, but they've they covered their spread. In those. So I do think the Chargers, with a good offense and a, a much better defense than Kansas City, will be able to to. Cover the three points. It might go up to 3.5. I've seen that in some sites, but I'm okay with it, even if it goes up to four. I like that pick. I'm not very big on the Chargers, but I really, I'll be shocked if I ever pick the Chiefs yeah. this year. Yeah, so. we're both not very high on the Chiefs <laughs> this year. Well, thanks for joining us again. Uh, we'll be posting these. It'll be on the weekend before the games. Mm -hmm. We always record them, post them, and I'll, I'll push them out on Facebook and on my blog and on Twitter. So just continue to check those spots. Make sure you 
Uh, check out our videos, and good luck in your fantasy seasons on your wagers. And if I will be posting on my blog uh, weekly rankings for fantasy every week, like I did last year, hot and cold, like hot, hot starters, bench warmers, those will be on there. And then I'll also have, um, occasionally I'll be posting, like, I'll go more into depth about like my hot starters and my bench warmers instead of just highlighting them with color. That's not going to be every week because I don't have the time to do all that, but every <laughs> once in a while I'll be doing that too. So thanks again for joining us. If you, this is the first time you watch this, please come back and see week two, and hopefully we got 4-0 to start week one. Yep. Thanks for watching.